a late actor's sister is fulfilling his legacy by eradicating the stigma related to mental illness. Come now. The Lee Thompson Young Foundation, and for some of the viewers, um, Lee Thompson Young committed suicide in 2013, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. And then the family came together to start a foundation. Right. Tell us a little bit about what the foundation does. Mm -hmm. So the main point is to erase the stigma associated with mental illness, um, also to advance uh, holistic health treatment, some different things work for different people, and to improve the lives of all those who are impacted. Um, so it wasn't until after uh, we lost my brother that I realized um, how many people are impacted by mental illness. Mm -hmm. um, one in four. And I thought that that was just astounding to me um, that that many people were impacted and then I began to hear stories people contacted us about how many people that were actually close to me that were impacted by it and I did not know uh, previously and one of the main reasons we started the foundation is because my brother uh, was diagnosed with bipolar disorder and he was actually under doctor's care taking his medication as prescribed, but he had always asked my mom and I not to tell anyone. Mm. And um, I felt like if someone knew, if his friends knew or his coworkers on set, if they knew uh, about his illness and what signs to look for, there may have been some signs that they would have noticed and maybe he could have gotten some additional help. Um, but because it was quiet, because of the stigma and the fear of being blackballed and losing mm -hmm. everything, no one knew. Right. Um, so we really try to make it a point to get that awareness out there and provide mental health education um, so people are talking about these things because a lot of people are going through it. Yes. I One thing that I always uh, like to share is the realness of mental illness. So I like to ask the experts and the guests, is it real? Mm -hmm. Mental illness, is it real? And how do you define mental illness? Mm -hmm. So it is definitely real. Um, I think... One of the things that maybe causes people to question it is because it is so different, it varies by case. So you could be diagnosed with the same illness as someone else, but it may show up differently mm -hmm. in you. And because you have seen or we have seen different um, TV shows and things uh, depicted in the media where um, they say a person is crazy. And so you see a person like acting out and, and losing it. So you... So you um, equate that with mental illness. So then if you look at someone else, like my brother, and everything looks fine on the outside, you know, right. he's attractive, successful, you say, well, you know, is it all in his head or right. what's going on? No, it just shows up different ways. Um, but it is, it is certainly real. It is um, a struggle every day. Um, mm -hmm. It can be managed. So that's the good thing. Um, but it's a challenge, and it varies. So there's a lot of trial and error that goes on in terms of finding the therapy or the medication or the routine that works for you.